So the interference pattern produced by the superposition of two waves is shown here. This is how your superposition principle. Indeed, the entire field of interference is based on the superposition principle. According to which, at a particular point in the medium, the resistance displacement produced by a number of waves is the vector sum of the displacement produced by each of the waves. That's referred to as superposition principle. Consider two needles S1 and S2 moving periodically up and down in an identical fashion in a trough of water. They produce as a two water waves and at a particular point the phase difference between the displacement produced by each of the waves does not change with time. When this happens, the two sources are said to be coherent. So here we have represented the oscillation of two needles which is in phase in water shows the position of crust. It's a solid circle. Solid circle. And troughs. It's a dashed circle. You can see the dashed line. You can see the dashed line and solid line here. At a given instant of time. Consider a point P for which S1P is equal to S2P. Since the distances S1P and S2P are equal, waves from S1 and S2 will take the same time to travel to the point P. And the waves that emanate from S1 and S2 in phase will also arrive at the point P in phase. So, the pattern of displacement of water molecule at an instant on the surface of water showing nodal N and antinodal A is given. So, nodal N is no displacement and the antinodal will be having much of displacement. Thus, if the displacement produced by the source S1 at the point P is given by Y1 is equal to A into cos omega T. Then the displacement produced by the source S2 will also be given as Y2 is equal to A into cos omega T. So the resultant displacement is adding these two. So Y1 and Y2 amending you get 2A cos omega T. Since the intensity is proportional to the square of the amplitude, the resultant intensity will be given as I is equal to 4 into I naught. So where I naught represents the intensity produced by each one of the individual sources and I naught is proportional to A square. In fact, at any point on the perpendicular bisector of S1 and S2, the intensity will be 4 into I naught. So the t two sources are said to be interference and interfere constructively and we have what is referred to as constructive interference.